Today I'll teach you how to create a super smooth and modern looking title animation in Adobe After Effects. So I am here in my After Effects where I prepared a blank composition. And the first step to this effect is to create some text. So I'm going to select my text tool by pressing Ctrl T and typing something out. You can of course also just select it up here. Next up I'm going to come into my para to my character over here. And we're going to play around a little bit with the font. I like this font here, it was bold. I'm actually thinking about it, I think I want to make everything capitalized. I don't know, I feel like that fits this this uh, this animation. And I think I want to pick the letters down a little bit more apart, so 200 here, and I want to scale it up a little bit to 200 maybe. I'm going to come into align here and just align the text. So we have our blank canvas, and it is time to animate the text. I'm going to open my text here. Click on animate and I want to animate the position and I want to animate the opacity. I'm going to change the position to 100 on the Y coordinate and change the opacity to zero. Next up, I'm going to come into the range selector here and I'm going to go forward one second here. I'm going to turn the offset up to 100, enable keyframes, go to the start and put it to negative 100. So we have this thing going on here and this looks goofy, but we will fix this. Now you want to come into advanced and you want to change the shape to ramp up. You want to change the ease high to 25, ease low to 100. And now all of a sudden we got this thing going on here. That looks beautiful. Maybe let's make it be a little bit more slow. So something like this. I think that looks nice. And now what I want to do here is actually also animate this scale here, but have this as a separate animator. So I'm going to go into the text here. Oh, sorry, the transform. Have it go from 100 to, let's say, after 15 frames to 85. Select both keyframes, F9 to ease, ease them. And I want to go into the graph editor, find the mid middle point somewhere around here. And on the scale, let's just kind of like make it ramp up a little bit to something like this. I think this could look nice. It's just we get this like kind of like scale in the end. But this looks weird as you can see, and that is because the anchor point is not centered. So just hold down control and click on this one to center it. So now you can see it will scale directly back. But anyways, let's take a look. But anyways. That was all I had for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, then please don't forget to like and comment on this video. Also consider subscribing. But anyways, take care guys. Bye bye.